Michael Hakarainen from the Utah Education Network Professional Development Team here at the Wasatch Back Teaching and Learning Conference being held at Wasatch High School. This is a really exciting two-day conference. Teachers from all over the news region, Northern Utah Education Services region of Utah are here. We have 12 school districts and even more charter schools. 900 plus educators have come here for two days for over 200 breakout sessions. There's keynotes, there's even a free lunch. So we're gonna go inside and talk to some of the educators that are here and find out what makes the Wasatch Back Teaching and Learning Conference such an excellent event. Let's go. I'm Duke Mossman, the Executive Director for Northeastern Utah Educational Services, also known as NUS, for one of Utah's four regional service centers. The goal of the Wasatch Back Conference is to bring all of the local education agency together to share ideas and to learn from each other, to hopefully get things that they can take back to their classrooms and, and help their kids you know, be more excited, learn better, and just you know, accomplish the goals that they want to accomplish. One of the things that we did as a committee is when we were talking about what teachers really want when they come back to school is they want choice. They want to be able to cater their own professional development to their needs in their classroom. And so that's really how the conference came to be is creating choices. So this conference has almost 30 choices every hour for teachers to really cater their professional development needs for these two days before coming back to school. But at the same time, it has a vision behind it. What are the needs that we see in this district or in this whole region? And so those needs are being met by the choices being offered. One of the reasons that we're really grateful that we're invited to participate is because it gives all of our teachers a chance to network with other teachers and hear ideas, not only to hear ideas and things, good things happening in other districts, but also to come and be presenters themselves. So we're able to share what's happening in our district, which is great, it's empowering uh, both ways, to learn new things and also to be able to, you know, be validated for the things that we're doing that we feel and we're really good about. So we're grateful to be able to participate in this. We don't have the, the resources to provide a conference like this in our own district. So it's really great that we have the opportunity to come and, and mix and mingle and and mix with other districts and, and share the bounty. One of the like beauties of the Wasatch Back Conference is it truly is a unique event. Uh, we had a keynote who came up from Florida a couple of years ago and he still talks about it. There's not really an event like this that he knows of where we have an entire region of teachers who have that are similar minded but have uniqueness about their own region and their own districts but coming together and just this camaraderie that we feel, it's, it's very unique and I think that this particular conference is powerful because of that. The Wasatch Front kind of monopolizes a lot of the resources because the majority of the population sits there. Those of us on the Wasatch Back, we feel we're in a unique spot. And, and the Wasatch Back Conference is an ability through NUES to get all of us together and plan a professional development for us, by us. And um, I think the Wasatch Back is a great place for us to mix with people who have similar communities, similar demographics, similar issues with our students. So our, our professional learning community gets bigger at the same time we're learning skills. One thing that I really like about this conference is whatever is up and coming, it's getting featured. So for example, one thing that is at our district is we just got new Nearpod licenses for the whole district. And so we have Nearpod here presenting on it. And then as an instructional coach, I value jumping into those classes and getting those tips and tricks. So if my teachers didn't make it into that session, I can take it right back and support them adding this really cool new piece of tech that's gonna transform their classroom right into, into their daily activities. What we hope teachers do is basically take back the things that they've learned and improve their, their instruction to their kids. That's really what we're after. It's all about helping them be better teachers to help their kids be better learners. Um, the other big thing that we really like is, is that we hope that they go back and, and take the contacts that they've made here with the teachers from the other LEAs and, and communicate throughout the school year, share ideas, and become kind of like a regional uh, PLC. Uh, what I personally gain is, is just the satisfaction of, of, of seeing the excitement of those that attend. You know, it's, it's, 
It's a lot of work for the, the planning committee and for the leaders and the administrators that, that run this conference. Once it all comes together and then everybody's here and the, the energy level that's in the building is, is tremendous and, and is awesome. Thank you for watching this episode of UEN PD TV. Uh, it's been a great time visiting the Wasatch Back Teaching and Learning Conference and seeing a lot of hardworking educators working really hard, even in the summer. Hopefully you saw this episode and you're off to a great school year. And if you want to subscribe to more UEN PD TV episodes, just click on this link that I'm holding right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll, I'll just keep holding it right here until you click on it. But please click on it because it's getting really heavy.